there is a an ambulance across the street at uh, the house of a woman that I know. This is on Bottom Street in the 2900 block. And that is a fire truck there. The door is open. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on over there. I'm not sure what's going on over there. Maybe some information will develop in a moment. There seems to be some activity now in the front door. That front door closed. The front door had opened again briefly. It is now opening again. There is now an ambulance arriving, paramedics. So the indication would probably be that someone is going to be transported in that ambulance. I'm, I'm assuming that someone will probably be carried out of that house momentarily. Again, we don't know exactly what has happened or how severe the situation is. But there's every reason to believe that someone's going to be brought out into the ambulance and transported. The stretcher was placed outside the door. So every indication would be that they will be transporting someone in the ambulance very soon. And it looks as if now they're going to be carrying the stretcher up toward the door. They're setting it up. setting the stretcher up to transport someone. And we assume that that person will be brought out momentarily to the stretcher. time involved here. Although always a transport like this would be done in an emergency case with all due speed but with the utmost caution and care. And I believe they've placed the person onto the stretcher now. Loading that stretcher onto the ambulance in a very, very short period of time. And they are beginning to move the stretcher toward the ambulance. Apparently it's a male being loaded into the ambulance and the woman and with whom I'm acquainted is standing in the doorway now. So it's a relief that it, that it isn't her that's being taken by ambulance. But apparently there's some sort of health crisis going on with that man who was loaded onto the ambulance. This is Ritz Vernado with the Ritz Vernado News Network in the 2900 block of Bonham Street.